and hello everyone welcome back to our discussion on snappy hex mesh which is uh, you know one of the important utilities in doing open foam uh, so in the last video we have uh, done a very kind of a scaffolding for the pipe that we want to uh, cut out so we call it the snappy pipe dot foam and all it is now is just a scaffolding to you know carve out our pipe shape from this uh, STL file and hopefully we get a mesh so the end result we want is a mesh right so yep ignore my last video upload what we want to do is okay we want to look at the yeah we want to look at some of the pipe flow like problems okay we want to look at no not the pipe flow problem we want to look at uh, what is needed what else is needed to run snappy hex mesh so um, I have this you know on github already pipe flow snappy hex mesh again you can refer to earlier videos if you're not sure where this is, where this is or you can just you can just put it yeah I'll just put it in the link for you to find this uh, very crude crude application of snappy hex mesh so um, well, we see the the thing FV schemes and FV solutions, as well as, con as control dig and block mesh dig. These are the standard, these standard uh, kinds of uh, files that dictionaries that you will see in your cavity folder, right? So if I go to system, you'll see these four here. I just type L. I don't really need to type L S all the time. So block mesh dig, control dig, FV schemes, FV solution. But in for snappy hex mesh, you may need extra dictionaries as well. These uh, dictionaries are called mesh quality dict and snappy hex hex mesh dict. So if you yeah, this this of course I learned from Foam Dude. So do go and take a look at these videos as well. They are much shorter and more truncated than mine, and they're a very useful resource as well. So shout out to Foam Dude. Yeah, thank you. Um. So we want to get snappy hex mesh dig and mesh quality dig in order to start our snappy hex mesh process. So where do we find these? Let's go to foam tutorials. All right. So we can look at let's say oh, we can use a find function. So so how to find in Ubuntu search do a search in Ubuntu so locate command or find so okay take a look at this so I can't remember the command but that's okay you just type following so find all right so find in whatever folder we want you need uh, the name and then you need a portion of the name so the arguments are as follows it tell you to find in which folder uh, so we can do the current directory which is a full stop so I name is a yeah we use this uh, uh, argument to say okay um, any part of the text that contains this uh, uh, this name, we will go and find it. So let's take a look. Let's let's try. We use the find command. We use the dot, and then we use i name, and we use snappy hex mesh dict, and then it's going to give us all the files that. Uh, that uh, is going to uh, tell us about the snappy hex mesh dict. So one of these is called the motor bike. Okay, so we, we see a lot of uh, places in the combustion folder, the compressible folder, heat transfer. Of course, uh, easiest is to go for this incompressible piezo foam or simple foam, where we have the motor bike file. So I want to. No, change directory to this. Okay. I'm going to copy this down. And I want to change directory to this place. 
So it is here in the system folder. And then you see this snappy hex mesh dict or right over here. So I'm going to copy this address. Okay. So I want to copy the snappy hex mesh dict. And of course, the other one is mesh quality dict. All right. Okay, where's the mesh quality dict? Uh, well, we'll do have to do another finding uh, process. So, all right, we'll go back to our open form files. And we want to go to our snappy pipe. CD system. And we'll want to copy this folder in here. Or rather this uh, snappy hex mesh ticked and we want to put it here. So I'm going to copy from the open form tutorials the snappy hex mesh ticked and just paste it here. Then we'll modify accordingly whatever our snappy hex mesh ticked is. So again, we can go to form tutorials and I want to find in this folder I name uh, what else? Mesh quality dict. Okay. And then again, again, it will show us all the things that uh, that's to do with the mesh quality dict. So we can see one here in the simple form as well. So let's cd to that directory. Okay, that's not a directory. Uh, system, okay. So we see that there's a mesh quality dict here. So I just want to copy and paste this file over to our usual spot. CD open form form files snappy pipe and CD uh, system. And I want to CPAR all of this uh, mesh quality dict into this folder. And now we have a mesh quality dict and snappy hex mesh dict in our uh, folder. So we can actually start, you know, doing the snappy hex mesh meshing um, in our in our file. Okay. So, well, I, for the time being, I'm not going to change anything. So I'm just going to see the outside, change directory, and I'm just going to run snappy hex mesh and see what happens so now we take a look it's v1906 it create time it reading the mesh and then we have a mesh bounding box and they say fatal error you cannot find trisurface mesh in the trisurface file so the trisurface file they are looking for is motorbike.obj so okay Let's go like this slowly and uh, we can look at snappy hex mesh dict and don't worry about all of this. It may seem very overwhelming. Okay. So, um, yeah, I'm going to change these things one at a time. So uh, what snappy hex mesh dict is it, it needs to find a particular geometry, a particular object. So the first thing it looks for is an object file or STL file. Now, if you're looking for the STL file, uh, it looks for, it, in, in this case, it's looking for motorbike.obj. But there's no motorbike OBJ in our tri-surface. Uh, but what, what we do have is a cylinder.stl. So I'm going to press DD for delete. Okay, and I'm going to press the insert button. And I'm going to... Shucks. Never mind, undo. Oopsie. Undo, undo. And undo. Okay. Let me type it out first. Okay. So in case I forget. 2, 3, 4, 5. And cylinder.stl. I'm going to exit first just to see whether we are doing the right name. CD constant, CD tri surface, 
and there's a cylinder.stl there that's what I want so, uh, okay let me vi system dot snappy hex mesh dict so you can skip some of the change directory all right so I'm gonna escape and then you just press DD again I'm gonna type in here cylinder cylinder STL so uh, the geometry is it looks for this this file and then it pots it as some kind of mesh then the output mesh which is uh, which is what the snappy hex mesh does we can give it a name called cylinder so I'm just gonna name it cylinder okay and that will that will do what yeah that's the out name of the output file snappy pipe and then let's run snappy hex mesh okay all right so now now it's okay say so create time is this uh, there's going to be some other things that okay a bit the call refinement and everything so nothing too serious just yet so it's determining some intersections meaning to say okay it's looking at the box that we are it's looking at this box and then it's trying to define where does this uh, STL file actually intersect um, some of the cells inside this uh, scaffold so to speak I think that's what they're doing yeah so it's uh, supposed to add patches and then oh we run into a fatal error so it has this uh, it has this thing say point three three zero point four three is not inside the mesh face or edge so the bounding box is one minus one minus one minus one and one one forty one so we all have to look at why this is happening probably we can do it in the next video so we'll go through each of the snappy hex each of the entries in the snappy hex mesh dict file um, yeah so that we can understand what's going on with it so yeah the, the point is to go through each of these steps in a trial and error fashion so that uh, we do understand what the snappy hex mesh dict is like so that it's not so overwhelming I just keep feeding you information right we're gonna do it slowly one at a time so see you in the next video thanks for watching I'll see you guys again.